Hello, beautiful humans. Thank you uh, for joining me on another episode on Creative Street. Today I have Weiss with me. I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce all, all his stuff that he does. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is uh, Will Weiss Zotero. I am a podcaster, producer uh, by night and during the day. I am a table games dealer here in uh, the state of Pennsylvania. I have a uh, stuck in my mind podcast, which I've been doing since 2020. Uh, I have a uh, Poppy J and wise and Hefe show that I do with my nephew. I have a uh, mentality, which I do with my, my, with my good friend Cole Johnson. And today, this morning I launched wise in the AM, which is a, uh, a uh, morning show that I'm, I want to use to help inspire people to start their day off right. So that's really cool. Um, is wise AM like what, like what morning stuff do you do on it? Like, uh, like I start, I start off the show with a with a uh, inspirational quote. Okay. Um, today's show was uh, basically I was touching on networking and and what. And what, uh, how important it is to any business that you do, whether it's mm -hmm. podcasting, real estate, whatever business mm -hmm. you do, networking is very important. So that's something that I'm, I harp on a lot. I, I tell po podcasters, listen, get on as many podcasts as you can. Mm -hmm. Network, network, network. So it was a great thing that you was here Saturday at the event because mm -hmm. you got to network. People got to see you. And that's what I mean. That's it's very important in order for you to grow your brand, your podcast, whatever it is that you're doing. You need to get some eyeballs on you. Yeah, that makes sense. It was like so nerve wracking and you're so fluid. You were so fluid. Everybody was so like into it. I was like, what am I doing? But whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I didn't start off that way. I didn't start off that way. It took me really when I first started. My thing was who was who, who wants to listen to me? It was I was just making excuses. Like mm -hmm. my voice is horrible. I sound terrible. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna talk about. People ain't gonna tune in. And then when I finally decided to press record, mm -hmm. it was like, oh man, I got this. And I, I really listen <laughs> when I released my first episode. It was seven minutes long. Um, I didn't have a a thumbnail cover art i didn't have anything all i did i didn't have descriptions I, I barely had a title i barely had a title and i released it and of course nobody tuned into it mm -hmm. but it gave me the confidence to 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 really go out there and and start recording more and releasing mm -hmm. so yeah it took me a cup took me about a month to release episode two and then it took me about two weeks to release episode three and then when I started, started getting more comfortable with it, because when I first started, it was a solo podcast. Mm -hmm. I didn't have guests on. It was me. I was furloughed from work. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at the height of the pandemic. And I, I was in the media. I wasn't a podcaster. I was just starting out. Just it was, I was green. I was greener than green. I didn't, I, I didn't that. like, I don't, I don't have pod, I didn't have podcasting experience. I didn't know anyone who had a podcast, mm -hmm. nothing. So I just had and actually in 2019, I had um, purchased a podcast studio from Amazon it cost me 160 bucks. Cause a friend of mine was going to me and him. We're going to start a podcast together. Uh -huh. first podcast. He got him and his girl got pregnant. That killed that. And then 2020 rolled around. March of 2020, I get furloughed from my job. Mm -hmm. I have this equipment sitting around. The wife has a big honey to do list for me. And mm -hmm. I was like, uh, yeah, I think I need to um, find me something to do. Mm -hmm. So I started, I, I've, I've got over that initial fear of doing my podcast. And I just, again, just, it was funny because I had my, I didn't have any of the proper setups. Like I was, I had my nephew on the phone with me. Mm hmm. And I didn't have the phone jack that goes into the mixer. So I actually had to hold the phone to the mic. <laughs> good thing, awesome. good thing. This was prior to me doing video. This was prior uh, to me doing video. So it was strictly <laughs> audio. So I'm 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 on the phone recording him. Mm -hmm. And that was the introduction episode that stuck in my mind. 
That's awesome. That is so cool. How old is your nephew? <laughs> oh, he's actually older than me. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you guys must have like an awesome relationship where it's just he's more like my brother. He's more like my brother. It's like I love that. Because yeah, my, my mom had me later on in life. So mm-hmm. I have siblings, like the closest to me in age is my sister. And mm-hmm. she has me about 11 years. Jeez. Oh, so this so, might as well be an only child while you were growing up. <laughs> but I had my nieces and nephews with me. So I had nieces and nephews my age. So I grew up with them. So they're more like my brothers and sisters mm-hmm. than my nieces and nephews. And so me and him have a wonderful relationship. He he had actually he had, had actually he had actually already started YouTubing. Mm-hmm. He had uh Talking Real 1000. And he was doing it with a, a friend of his, and it was back and forth. It was men and men and women, and it was it was it was the beginning. And so when he when he seen that I was getting into podcasting, and we we had we had kind of not been close as like we used to, mm-hmm. and this kind of brought us back together. And That's and we nice. just he's my ride or die now. Yeah, That's so nice. I um so. I do I do something similar and it's similar like I, when you said that like when you started and you thought like who wants to listen to me literally that was me for like three years I had bought the equipment I was like no I'm gonna do it no it's not perfect yet it's not perfect yet it's not perfect yet. and so finally like I forgot who it was but I was listening to somebody and they were like, no, man, like whatever you have to say, believe me, just just say it. Somebody's going to resonate with it. Somebody's going to like it. The only person holding you back is you right now. You already have the equipment. Just just start recording. And I love that. Like, No, it was. So my nephew, before I even released the episode, he was like, "Nah, let's wait till we get it perfect. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, I said, I want people to see the growth. I want them to see where we started at Mm -hmm. to where we're at now. So I, after like 60 something episodes, I did a reintroduction episode. So I kept the first seven minutes of the episode, Mm -hmm. but then I just re just did another 30, 35 minutes, 40 minutes of new content just to show the growth, just to show this is where we was at. This is where we're at now. And now you have now where, Three podcasts, four podcasts, <laughs> and, and and it's crazy because um, like I said, I wasn't in media. I I wasn't. This wasn't my realm. Like everything I've learned, I've I've like kind of self taught myself using YouTube, mm-hmm. like doing the editing, doing the research on what platforms, doing the research on what is a description, what is SEOs, what is mm-hmm. all these different things that I had no clue. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's now within the last year or so that I'm really getting my really getting a hold of it and really getting mm-hmm. to know where I want to go with this show. Like a two and a half years later, this three years later is finally. So when you say like you're still learning, it's like you got a long way, man. You're still learning. Just just have fun with it. That's all. That's my advice to you. It's just uh-huh. to have fun with it. No, yeah, like honestly, I think that's that's what I like about this is is uh how fun it has been. Just like I talk to myself all the time. This is just recording like I've been talking to myself. <laughs> I talk to myself all the time. And then it's like you mentioned, like this is such a great avenue to be able to network and like meet new people and and like meet cool new people. Like I, I'm I've met you from Pennsylvania. I met um, a friend of mine, Felicia, who is now in like California. I met somebody from Canada. It's been an amazing, like just way to connect with so many people of like different walks of life and like different perspectives. And it's, it's awesome. And it's, oh, you're, not, you're not done. You're going to meet many. Oh, I've, right? met, I've met, listen, I've met people from all over the world. I've interviewed people from Japan. Uh China, India, Australia, That's Italy. So cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I've I've interviewed people all over the world. I my podcast is an international podcast. And you thought I you thought I had these expectations? I didn't even <laughs> like I didn't know none of this. I didn't know people were listening to me in India. Mm-hmm. Until I started really paying attention to my numbers and I seen that 
I was getting mm-hmm. downloads in Brazil, downloads in this country. And I'm like, man, I am truly an international podcast. That's so freaking cool. That's so cool. I can't wait to get to that, to that place. <laughs> Um, no, you know what? You know what? You know what? What you shouldn't do is is get caught up in the numbers. Do not oh no. get caught up in the numbers. I'm trying so hard. Like I released episode one, and I'm trying so hard to not focus on that, to not open that app and look at the analytics. Like I don't, I don't want that to get into my head. You hear Simba, don't you? <laughs> No. <laughs> no? Oh, no. thank God. Anyways, uh, I'm trying so hard to not get caught up in those numbers and not because I feel like that when you start off, you're not going to start off at a thousand. You're not going to start off at two thousand. And I feel like because you're not going to start off with that 10, 15. With, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I feel like the current like culture that we got right now with social media, where like we're looking for those likes the moment you start looking at the numbers and seeing that your episodes aren't getting those like big likes, you might get discouraged. And I'm literally trying to remind myself, like, this isn't about everybody else. You're doing this because you're having fun with this. You're getting to meet those creatives and those people. And it's my podcast is about that is giving platforms to like all these amazing humans that I meet throughout my life that do these amazing works, whatever the work of art is, whether it's music, in your case, podcasting, if being a speaker and being able to articulate your thoughts, that's a form of, of art, right? Like spoken word is, is a form of art. And, and I didn't know how I had this talent. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know it was in me. Like, like I was growing up, I played sports. Um, I was, I was a geek and, and, and all that. <laughs> But I never really considered myself talented. I didn't really think of myself as a creative. I didn't mm-hmm. think that I was creative enough or whatever. Of course, I doodled and, and try to draw here and there. Mm-hmm. But I didn't really think of myself as creative. Mm-hmm. And then I started podcasting. And I started learning so many different skills. I started editing audio, editing video. I started creating thumbnails. I started creating graphic designs. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Okay. Where's all this coming from? But it came from me releasing that episode mm-hmm. and really and and facing Having that the courage. Fear. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it, it, like getting that courage, kind of like, okay, you can do whatever. You you're capable of doing all these things. Because mm-hmm. look what you're doing. You're podcasting. Something mm-hmm. you didn't think you were capable of doing. Look at you. And you're pretty good at it too. So I'm <laughs> like, oh, all right. Definitely are. You definitely are. Um, like it's it's wild right because like i think i think that happens with a lot of like creatives and a lot of artists right like you you don't realize what you're doing because it's so natural and like that wasn't the intention i think that's the beauty when you're being a creative like you don't you're not intentionally trying to (laughs) there is and there isn't but like it's it's like how you how you mentioned like it you weren't trying to become a creative you became a creative through just trying new things right mm-hmm. and allowing yourself to fail and learn and, and grow and there was failure <laughs> <laughs> like everything yeah. in life there's always listen, failure. Listen. the I'm failures not, teach us more if anything I, i'm gonna tell you this now because <laughs> it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you're going to one day forget to press record. Oh, my God. You're going to one day forget to press record and have a wonderful interview. And then you're going to realize, oh, my God, I didn't press record. And that's how, that's happened to me. Or oh. I had a situation where I had a wonderful conversation with someone. I deleted it by mistake. These, th- these things happen. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I've had times where I'm sitting in the middle of an interview having a great interview. Mm-hmm. And my grandson comes into the room and he sees, oh, look, bright light under the table. Click. No. All my power's gone. No. All my power's gone. My gosh. So things happen. <laughs> but I, I've been blessed where the, the guests, they 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 understand, they, they stick mm-hmm. in the room and when I come back. And so I have to add, but this is prior to me going live. This is like when I was doing pre recorded videos and mm-hmm. I was doing pre it was pre recorded audio. So it's not really, it's just, but it's, if you expect to be perfect coming out to jump, 
you're going to fail. Mm-hmm. You're definitely going to fail. You have to come into this just not even thinking about it, just doing it and and not focusing on, on like I said, the numbers. Because unless you're a celebrity mm-hmm. that has a following already, mm-hmm. don't expect to, your numbers to jump out. It took me, all right, my first two and a half years, mm-hmm. I had um, 8,000 downloads, and which to me was wonderful. That to me, that to me sounds amazing, right? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. That Two and a half years, amazing. eight thousand downloads. I was like, my as far as my audio goes, I'm like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, I really started structuring my show better, mm-hmm. really focusing on having proper questioning questions and all that, and mm-hmm. and I automated a lot of things. Like like now, I have a weekly newsletter going out to to people who subscribe no i have so many different things that i've learned Mm -hmm. in the last i've added tools to help me um cast magic i use cast magic for my audio podcast Mm -hmm. and what is what that does is i take the audio i take the mp3 put it in cast magic Mm -hmm. it creates timestamps it creates clips that you can use. Oh, okay. It it, it it creates, but it's all it's all in like it's all. It's not like it cut. It doesn't. It's not like it cl- cuts the video for you. It doesn't do, mm-hmm. do that. It, but it, what it does do, it gives you descriptions. It gives you keywords. It gives you timestamps, uh, clips that you can use. It gives you threads that you can use, tweets you can use, posts you can put on LinkedIn. All these things that takes time because mm-hmm. it takes time to put a description, to do all these things, mm-hmm. to figure out timestamps, to really go in there, listen to the show. Now I don't have to do all that. It's timestamps for me. It creates, um, uh, it creates captions for me. Something That's where cool. if, where if, um, a lot of people like captions. Mm-hmm. And, and, and especially when it comes to the to the video and and, and audio mm-hmm. as well, so it's like, all right, I'm learning all these skills. Mm-hmm. Now I need to apply them, and since I've applied them, I'm now at twenty four, twenty five thousand downloads as far as my audio. Cool. This is from this is I'm talking about from cool. December of la of twenty twenty two to now. That's I've like not even from, a year. Yeah, not even a year. That's not even a year. Not even, and I've gone from eight thousand, almost eight thousand, nine thousand, to twenty four, twenty five thousand. That's That's a big leap. Yeah, it is. That's amazing. But but it's because I started doing. um, Phil Better, who was also a part of the international podcast day. Mm -hmm. He he, like we we run around in the same circles, and we had never met. Mm-hmm. And they were like, "Yo, Wise, you gotta meet Phil." And they were like, "Phil, you gotta meet Wise." And, and when we finally did meet, <laughs> it was like we hit it off that we just became good friends. He um he had a beta testing program on automation that he was like, "Yo, I want to gift this to you. I want you to be a part of this beta program with me." Mm-hmm. Which I was like, "Okay, hell, heck yeah, why not?" You're, this is someone I respect that. He must actually see something in me if he wants to have this, have me test this beta for him. Mm-hmm. And so, he I talked about it beta. a little bit during uh, uh, international podcasting, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, he talked about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah well, it's it, sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, like it sounded amazing. It sounded really interesting. That I, I was like, I can't wait till you know. Can that is a tool that's gonna be out there? Oh, listen, uh, yeah. Um, look up Phil Better. He has a free. He has a free Facebook group. He's he's amazing. He's he's amazing. I, that's one thing for me is um, I've I've been blessed to connect with some amazing people, amazing people that that are doing things that I want to do. So being able to to connect with them and build that relationship with them 
has helped me out tremendously, has taken helped me take my podcast to another level. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I try to give back. So when you was like, I need guests, I signed up because this is this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help up and coming podcasters. Mm-hmm. Especially I know it's how hard it was for me at the beginning to get guests. It's not the easiest thing in the world. It's no, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Cause because one of the first things they says, Oh, what's your numbers like? Mm-hmm. Or how many downloads do you got? I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, man, I just started out. I'm green. I just started out. <laughs> oh, yeah, come talk to me later. Right. And and then when I started being more consistent with my show, being more making sure I was re- releasing an episode every week, being just being consistent. Mm-hmm. I started receiving emails. Hey, I heard caught your podcast. Love to be a guest. Okay, cool. Not a problem. And then one day, like I'm a big, I'm big in self development and growth, and mm-hmm. and um, one of my favorite documentaries books is The Secret. Oh, and okay. when someone who was a part of the secret, Bob Doyle, reached out to me, his whoever his PR people or whatever, whoever was helping him get on podcasts, reached out, reached out and said, Hey, Bob Doyle's interested in being on this podcast. I'm like, I'm like, are y'all sure you got the right person? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 who y'all know who y'all yeah, send the message to, right? They're like, yeah, awesome. we, yeah, we, he wants to be on your podcast. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I'm like, no, what I look like is telling Bob Doyle, no, he can't be a guest. Right. Like, this is like, this is a, <laughs> this is like a, a dream interview for me. This is someone that I respect, someone that I, I, I listen to, someone I, I catch his, his stuff. Mm. And for him to be like, yo, I'm like, okay, I must be doing something right. Something must, I must be doing something right if, if this man really wants to sit down and be a part of this podcast and it was a wonderful conversation. That, that, that does sound like a dream. I, I've only watched pieces of the secret, but still it's, I've seen enough of the, of the captions and stuff to know that that's a very inspiring, like my mom loves the secret. So I can, I can only imagine how amazing that it's, it's like, for me, it would have been like having Paulo Coelho from the alchemist, like be, be a part of the show. Oh, he's like, next. He's one of my favorites. Get out of here. Like, I, yeah, I hope. What do you think? I, I told you I'm into <laughs> self-development. <laughs> you don't think I know who Paulo Coelho is? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, oh no! I, I just told you I was in this. Dude, dude! Oh my gosh! No, like the Alchemist, legit is what it's amazing book. Yes, amazing, amazing. Mm-hmm. I've read all his books, like the Zahir and and um, Down by the Piedra. I sat down and yeah. wept. Oh my god! But the Alchemist, it's always been this because uh, it has this like this way of being able to capture articulate this idea of wanting something more with your life right and like mm-hmm. he resonates it to like the the ether right and how like you obviously he uses different words for it but it's it really like as a kid it captivated me I was like I want to find what it is that I'm here to do and what my my soul genuinely wants to do yeah um so yeah, he's huge inspiration. So, dude, so you gotta know you speak Spanish because you said piedras very well. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> um, so my yeah, my mom's Cuban. I'm from Miami, Florida. My mom's Cuban. My dad's Honduran. I grew up in a household where if you didn't know how to speak Spanish, you weren't talking to anybody. <laughs> yeah, because my, my mom, my mom does not like the only English words she know is curse words. Like that's what my mom knows. <laughs> so they can tell you not to say that. <laughs> like legit. Like, whenever you would curse in English, they would just be like, oh no. no, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> but yeah. Uh but no, my so- mom made sure that um I learned Spanish. She made sure that I, I learned Spanish from a very young age. And so I'm blessed that she made sure that because nowadays you got a lot of Latino kids that don't speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and like, it's, it's a shame. It's a real shame that they don't, because 
it's a dis you're you're putting them at a disadvantage because mm -hmm. the world's getting more integrated every yeah. day and mm -hmm. it's like a different tool under your belt but not just yeah. that like so i'm i'm really big and big um like i i have a degree in psychology i don't know if i if i mentioned that but like one of the these things that i've i've learned was that in your schemas in the language that you that you learn things like it doesn't translate so in like the, I, there was this guy who like he wrote a book in one language and then as he was translating his book to a different language he realized that he was able to access different mem memories and things like that as he was writing it in like this new language and it's so amazing how language just like encodes and um we associate like these different things yeah. um you're hispanic or your your family's Hispanic. Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, get out of here! Were you like you were born here, or were you I was born, born in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Ah, New York. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Sorry, my brain goes like everywhere. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I mean, it, I my my nephew is like that, where his parents are Honduran. So his mom is Honduran. My brother is Cuban American, but he soup like speaks Spanish, right? He grew up in the same household as me. We speak Spanish. And my nephew, he's 13 right now. He understands Spanish, but he can't respond to you in Spanish. No matter how much he wants to, he doesn't know how to articulate himself in Spanish. But he understands what you're saying. But yeah. yeah, it's like you mentioned, it's it's a detriment um like to them. You're you know. But yeah. Um ooh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, there I go. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh so what do, so do other uh i know your your nephew is also a podcaster and youtuber and stuff but like did other family members like did your other family members also like would they consider themselves creatives like were your family i guess what i'm asking is were they and like were there other people in your family that inspired you to kind of be in like be okay with trying new things, I guess. Um, it would be that would be my mom. Like my mom always instilled in me that I could be whatever I wanted to be. She could. She would. She. She. I. I don't. I don't remember ever a time where she says, "No, you can't do that. You're not capable of doing that." Whatever I said I wanted to do, she was like, "Okay, that's what you want to do. Let's do it." And and so from her, I, I've learned that. She, she, I, I've never had, I've never, I've never had her tell me something that I couldn't do. It's always been outside forces that tell you, like in school, oh, that's not a realistic dream. You're not going to be able to do that or whatever it is. People dash your dreams easily. Mm -hmm. But my mom's never, my mom's never been that way. And, and now I'm, I'm blessed because. My wife easily, easily, easily could have been like, my man, you're 40 something years old. What the hell are you talking about? You want to start a podcast? What are you talking about? Like, no, what she did was she's like, all right, I see you're very serious about this. I see that you're obviously you're good at this. Mm -hmm. Um, what can I do to to help yes. you take this to another level? Like, what 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 do we need to do? She so she helped me start my LLC. She just helped me with so many different things. And she doesn't listen to my podcast. She does not. She's like, I talk to you every day. Like, I don't need to hear you. <laughs> but she is my biggest fan. I, I tell everybody, she has not li listened to a lick of a, a, a like a matter of fact, no, that's a lie. Cause she just sent me a um a <laughs> clip, one of my own clips. That I think that was the first time she ever got one of my clips that popped up on her TikTok feed. And she sent it to me, and 
and it was um it was the time I I, I, I talked about the tragedies that happened in my life and everything. Mm -hmm. And so she's like I said, she doesn't listen to my show, but she is my biggest fan. She's very supportive. And she she I, I buy t shirts, she rocks them. <laughs> I, I she's she's got a key chain. She's 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 my biggest fan. Like she'll That's tell sweet. people, yeah, my husband got a podcast. That's so amazing. That's so like that that must make you feel some sort of like way of just like that. I don't know. No, I don't know how to como, como expresarlo, but like it must make you feel so proud of yourself in some way, right? Like of just like and you know, loved. Not that it makes there me you feel go. Proud. Loved. No, it, 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 I I appreciate the fact that she believes in me, that she has that she has faith in what I'm doing, that she she really believes, like, dude, we can really make something happen here. We can really take this to another level where hopefully you can retire both of us. And that, that's the ultimate goal is I, I to build this to the point where I don't have to work for anyone else. Mm -hmm. I can take time off to, to spend with the grandkids and spend with her and go away on vacation, not have to continuously punch a clock. Mm -hmm. And that, I think that's that should be everyone's goal eventually, mm -hmm. but everyone's not not built that way. Not not everyone's meant to be an entrepreneur. Not everyone's meant to have their own business. Some people just are happy in where they're at, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But for okay. me, the ultimate goal is to stop punching in, just be able to wake up and oh, I want to record an episode today. Or do I want to record something right now? Yeah, like. That is the dream. That is definitely the dream. And you're you're right. Not everybody is built that way. Like it it's a lot of discipline. I've noticed that this is a lot of discipline. Being able and like you like there's a lot of things in life that require discipline and that require you to be consistent. Um like I mentioned to you earlier at the gym, like this, that's rough. Like it's been rough to do that consistently, but this, and when you find, and I think that's the, the beauty of it. Like when you find something that you enjoy doing, it's not hard to be consistent. It's not hard to be disciplined because you're doing it anyways. Like you, cause it's what you genuinely love to do. And like I said, I didn't know that I had a voice. I didn't know. Like growing up, always I've people always say, "Damn, you got a you got a, a deep voice." Like when I'm on the phone with somebody, they're like, "Damn, man, like what you trying to do?" <laughs> and it's like, well, "I'm not trying to do anything. This is how I sound." But to me, I don't sound like how I sound to everyone else. Mm -hmm. To me, I sound I don't know what I sound. I probably sound like Shrek to me or something. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> but then people people listen to the episodes and they'll be like, "What's wrong with you?" Like yo, you have a radio voice. I don't understand mm -hmm. why would you think otherwise. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you get continuously get people to tell you this. I'm like, All right, I guess I have a voice. And honestly, I, honestly, before I started my podcast, I, I didn't know I didn't know my purpose. Like I, I I went to work, paid my bills, spent time with the family. That's it. But I I didn't have a purpose. Mm -hmm. And when I started my podcast and I started releasing episodes and I started getting feedback from people and t people telling me stuff and telling me, it was like, okay, I got something. And then I received the message one day from a friend because me and me and another friend had a dinner episode and it went well, we had a great discussion. Like we were high school friends. We went to high school together mm -hmm. and another friend of ours from high school heard the episode and when she when she heard us talking and she, and we discussed manifestation, we goal setting, starting our own businesses and everything. Mm -hmm. And she had she was on the fence about starting her business. And when she messaged me and she says, Yo, I heard you and Jason's interview. And I'm like, man, these are two dudes I grew up with. These are two I want two guys I went to school with. Mm -hmm. If they can do this, if they can take that leap, if they can go make themselves uncomfortable and, and take that risk and, and do something, why can't I? Mm -hmm. 
So she took that leap, started her business. She's doing very well. And, and it's it was that at that moment when I got that message, I was like, if I can impact one person's life, mm -hmm. then I'm doing something correct. I'm doing something right. I'm doing. And so receiving numerous messages from people now, like even recently, someone I interviewed. Mm -hmm. And I had forgotten that I, I hadn't released the episode that we did. And we I interviewed her last year. Oh. And I I don't know how I forgot I didn't release the episode. So mm -hmm. I'm going through my episodes and I'm like, man, what episode should I release? And I seen her episode and I was like, I haven't released this yet. I'm like, mm, it's weird because this was the second time I interviewed her. First mm -hmm. time it was strictly audio. This is gonna be the first time we do video together. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know what happened that I didn't release it. And so I released the audio first and the description and everything. Mm -hmm. I picked a, a nice picture of her for the thumbnail and then I tagged her in it. Mm -hmm. And she goes, she sends me a message. Is this the episode we recorded last year? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. She goes, no, thank you. She says, the words that you put in the description, the thumbnail, that's my favorite picture. She says, thank you, because I haven't been feeling like that person. Since the last few months, I haven't been feeling like her. I have that, I, like when I, she said, when I read those descriptions and everything, and I saw all the wonderful things you were saying about me, she says, thank you, because I haven't been feeling that way. I have, and, and me and her communicate, we, we chat. She's become a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I didn't. It's not like she told me release the episode. It was like I was walking by, going by a scene. I was like, mm, I think this is the episode I need to release, and I released it, not knowing what she was going through. So when she sent me that message, I was like, man. I mean, that's that's a beautiful story, man. Like that, it's it's amazing how life works. I feel like it's like something in the universe is like, why well, forget about that episode? Let's release it when when she needs to hear it the most. Yeah, and that was it's, crazy because it was it was her episode. Like it, it it was crazy that it was her episode that ended up impacting her mm -hmm. more than we both knew. Like when, before we even record, like when we recorded, we didn't know it was going to have the impact that it had on her now. Mm -hmm. And that to me was like this is why I do it. This is, mm -hmm. this is right. That reason right there, being able to impact someone without even attempting, like just something inside of me is like, no, nah, this episode has to get out right now. Mm -hmm. Let me release it. And when I did it, that, that was the, that was the reward to, to, to get that message and to, to be able to be like, all right, this is the impact that I want. This is the, this is the kind of, the reason why you why why you do what you do. Yeah, this is and this is why. Like I think that's so that's so important, right? Like we and that's the like, those are the two that you know of. Like that's not the ones that you that you don't even that don't realize comment. that yeah. don't comment that they you don't even realize how your words are gonna help somebody just like in in their daily life. Like I don't know. But, but it's not but see but then it's not even i'm really realizing more and more that it's not even not just the impact that i'm with my with my podcast mm -hmm. it's also the impact that i'm having with these relationships that i'm building like mm -hmm. like my boy cole my man cole he always said he calls me mr big up because <laughs> i'm always big, big in there because I'm, I'm always bigging everybody up mm -hmm. like like to me I've, i'm 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 the i'm from the mentality that how can I expect anyone to support me if I don't support anyone else? Mm -hmm. So I try to support all my friends. If they post something about I have a house for sale, I'm sharing it. If they, they're posting about an accomplishment they made, I'm sharing it. If they got a, a quote that I really enjoy that I think people need to hear, I'm sharing it. Mm -hmm. and, and when I'm on shows and I give people their flowers, like I talked about Phil earlier. I talked about Cole earlier. I haven't mentioned Jeff Revilla, who who put together mm -hmm. International Podcast Day 
and how much of an impact he's had on me. Because many. he's the one who introduced me to ChatGBT. He's introduced me to so many different tools. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it's like that is because they see I'm serious about what I do. They see I'm dedicated. They see that it's not a waste of their time. Mm -hmm. Them sharing whatever knowledge they have with me. So for me, I'm like, okay, now I have to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. I have to make sure I see if I see someone who on one of the Facebook groups that, that they have an issues with, mm -hmm. I'll shoot them a message and be like, because, because once you like a lot of people, once you put a, a post on these Facebook groups, you're kidding. Oh, there's people are solicit trying to sell you stuff. They're trying to mm -hmm. oh, hire me to mm -hmm. like, I come, I just be like, yo, listen, this is what you do. This is my advice to you. Do your research, do what the blase blase, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And and that's how I try. I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to say, "Oh, I'll edit your podcast." I'm not trying to sell anything. I just want to be able to help in whatever way I can to make you a better podcaster, or whatever it is that you're working on. And that, I think that's like what I like about podcasting. It's like it's a community, and it's like you mentioned. Like we we got to celebrate each other. If you don't, mm -hmm. if we don't celebrate each other, nobody's gonna come and celebrate us. You know, uh, I, sounds weird, but yeah, like it's like you're saying, like paying it forward, celebrate each other, support each other. This is mm -hmm. a community. We're all here to just help each other out, and you know, I could, I could have easily been like, oh, I ain't gonna be on her show. She's a new podcast. She ain't got no. <laughs> but that's not. Yeah. That's not. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm about. I'm not. I'm like. Oh, this is a new podcast. Let me hook up with her and see what we can do and build something and create content mm -hmm. that's going to be beneficial to everybody. Mm -hmm. Not just to us, because this conversation is meant to happen. We're here talking for a reason. This is supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it goes with where we go with this. Where how how much how can we help help each other? And how how can we help each other? How can we help our audiences? Mm -hmm. I agree, and I I really appreciate you like taking the time to to somebody who's new like i i, I mentioned this but, time and time again i'm a fool man i just i don't know what i'm doing i'm just doing and i'm allowing the universe to just do what it's just mm -hmm. be me and um i appreciate i appreciate that you were you were literally the first one that was like Hey, I'm doing this right now i'm signing up to be your yeah. guest like it was so cool yeah, but that's what you're supposed to do. That's 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 how I do. That's just that's just me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, but that's also a lot of the people that I associate with. They they're all about helping and building. Like Jeff put that together, and he didn't charge anybody. Mm -hmm. He didn't it charge people free. to come see it. It was all free. It was all free. And the content that the the podcasters created, he gave it to them. He's when he's done, he, he's gonna send everybody the clip their 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 portion of the shows. That's and and and, and they can use that content. <laughs> That's amazing. But it's it's those relationships that you you build, and and you mm -hmm. nurture and you and you look at okay, this is how I was treated when I got into the community. Mm -hmm. Then this is how I have to pay it forward. This I have to be the same way. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I got to get, so I appreciate having this conversation because I get really shy. <laughs> be honest. And this is why I laugh and I get all weird because I get shy. And so even though it's in, like you're talking about having that community and like supporting each other and stuff. And I'm part of all those little Facebook groups and yeah. stuff. And because you always get those messages of like, oh, post your podcast here for promotion. And then they try to sell you things. And it's just like, mm -hmm. it's, it really is like, I don't want to interact with anybody because I think they're all bots. <laughs> yeah. No. So this, 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 um, cause you're, 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 uh, a, a, a interview based show, right? You, you, you want to interview people for your show, right? Mm -hmm. So there, there's platforms like I use Podmatch. Podmatch. Um, okay. Yes. And it's six dollars a month, right? Six dollars a month. But the great thing about Podmatch is 
they there's certain people you interview, right? Mm -hmm. That they're paying pod mash, pod match a uh, a uh, uh, service. They're paying them for the service. Mm -hmm. And when you interview certain guests, pod match pays you a a commission. Oh, so okay. I started in. I've been using pod match for two years now, but mm -hmm. in June of last year. They started the the paid the paid one where you paid six dollars a month, mm -hmm. but since I've been using and a lot of my interviews are, are through Podmatch, a lot of my guests, mm -hmm. um, I've made in over a year or so, probably like four or five hundred dollars, over four four hundred dollars. Off right. of interviews that I don't charge. I don't charge people to get interview on my show. It's mm -hmm. just Podmatch paying me a commission for interviewing these people. They didn't have to do that. So they right. wanted a few platforms that is actually giving back to independent podcasters. I actually got been able to hang out with the the creative Podmatch, Alex San Filippo. That's We've, cool. Like, I've, I've been able to hang out with him because you're in Florida, right? Mm-hmm. So in January, you need to make sure you go to Orlando for okay. Podfest. Oh yes, I heard about that. Okay, you have to go to Podfest. You being uh, independent, independent podcast and being a newbie, this would be a great experience for you because you mm -hmm. will connect with some amazing people. You mm -hmm. that, like two years ago was my first Podfest experience, and I came back changed like. Just being, able, and then like you're gonna try to go to all all these courses, whether they're teaching here, <laughs> and then you're gonna realize the magic happens in the hallways. The magic happens walking around, being able to connect and network with people and speak. Like I've been able, like my first time at Podfest, I got to to meet a couple of people. Like um, when I first started podcasting, right, mm -hmm. I didn't have a clue. I didn't know anything. Um, this guy Travis Brown. Now we're we're friends now. He was offering pod decks, right? Uh -huh. Pod decks, which was cards to help you structure your show. Like they, they have different games. They have questions you can ask. Like there's different decks. There's, I got like six different decks here. <laughs> like this one is, uh, is a game. <laughs> what the heck? This is what the heck, right? That's so cool. Okay. Um, and wow. then I have, <laughs> I have uh interview deck here. This is an interview deck. Okay. It's got questions you can ask the guests. <laughs> this is uh, another game. This is Would You Rather, which I love. I, I, I used to play oh this a lot with some of my guests. It's like, would you rather eat peanut butter or would you rather eat jelly? Whatever it is. It's, got, it's just some funny, stupid questions. Mm -hmm. This is another interview deck. And then I got a couple more here. I got like a total of seven of them. So when I go to the first pod fest, mm -hmm. I see these these guys, they're doing something about Instagram and everything. And I'm like, man, I know that dude from somewhere. I know. And then he's like, yeah, I, used to, I, I created Poddex. I said, that's where I know you from. <laughs> I said, man, you don't know how much your decks have helped me when I first started podcasting. Like, I didn't know questions. I didn't know none of this stuff. So it gave me an opportunity to really just have fun with it. Mm -hmm. and And so... I was able to meet him. Um, I'm totally started, looking. Uh, you know that once we're done here, I'm totally looking those up, right? You, <laughs> like, they, I they, they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. Like if you want, we can play a. We can play. What you would you rather? If you want to experience it, like let's do it. <laughs> let's right, do okay. like a few rounds. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, all right, we're gonna do a few rounds of would you rather. All right. All right. So I'm taking over. <laughs> okay, take it over. Let's go. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> okay would you rather let's i just this is the first card i didn't i didn't would you rather give up sex for a year or your cell phone for a year mm. <laughs> i'd rather do the cell phone i'll be honest <laughs> give up give up, your no, cell phone I, I give up my cell phone but um, <laughs> nobody need if you're not with me you don't need to talk to me it's fine <laughs> All right, all right, I don't know if I can do with other two with the other. <laughs> okay, would you rather your fingers always feel sticky mm -hmm. or your throat always feel itchy? Mm. Oh, sticky fingers, 
But then you got to think about you. Do you want to be? Like, oh, yeah. I mean, throat. and we're, we're podcast. I got to be talking all day. Nah, I'd rather sticky, th- face I think sticky fingers. Sticky yeah, fingers. Right. If anything, I'll start being like Spider Man and walk up a wall or something. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Would you rather take cold showers for the rest of your life or never get more than four hours of sleep a night ever again? Oh no, I cherish my sleep. Cold showers, it is. <laughs> you take cold showers every but that's kind of like that's kind of refreshing. It is. Like, if once you and you'll get used to it at one point, like you'll be like, "What's cold? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not cold." But sleep? Oh no, I cherish my sleep. <laughs> so no. Oh, dude, no. Next time, right. I need to have these cards on deck for for next time for sure. Because I need to right, do. This is, the, this, this is the last one. This is the last hey, one. This hey, is the last hey. one. <laughs> Would you rather have no eyebrows mm. or an extra finger? Oh, extra fingers. No eyebrows. I'm so expressive. How would you know what my, my facial features are? I'll, I'll do extra finger all day. <laughs> but see, that's that was the that was the fun of those cards for me. Like that helped me get through my, my a rough patch yes, of podcasting where I didn't I didn't know what the heck I was doing. So yeah. Oh, uh, that this is so helpful. Oh yes. I need to get me some pod decks now. <laughs> How well, wild! I actually got an app now too. So. Oh, okay. So let me let me. Uh, it, you're just you you're sparking ideas, man. You're, you're sparking <laughs> ideas right now. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Podcast. I I can only I I'm gonna look into it, and I I want to. I want to get more involved in this and and break out of my my shyness shell because I think that's what holds me back in my in that quirkiness and Where are you shy at? Dude, I am sh- I promise you I am. Oh my God. <laughs> I promise Whatever. you I am. that's why I laugh, but you you guys don't realize it cuz I laugh cuz I'm just Okay, like, but that's Okay, so like but you're doing so well. Like it, it's not like yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, man, but are, are you going to go to Podfest? Yes. Yes. Oh, so hopefully yes. we can, you know, meet in yeah, person. Yeah, we can link up and we can create content and do a show live. Yes. Uh, live. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. You were talking about you, you have Podfest. You got to go live. Okay. Okay. I'll go live. <laughs> no, you don't necessarily have to go live. I'm saying, but. No, no, no! I'll do it. I'll do it. It was just that was that was that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> At least with this, if I mess up, uh, yeah, you know, nah. Yeah. I don't. I don't edit any of my content. Like, I I feel like I I mentioned this earlier, or I've mentioned this okay. at some point. I don't edit. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. The reason I go live, right, mm-hmm. is so I don't have to edit. Yeah, that's the reason I go live is because I don't want to edit anymore. Mm-hmm. Like I'll I'll edit other people's stuff <laughs> if they're gonna pay me, but mm-hmm. um I don't want to edit my stuff. I don't want to like I'd rather just do live, and it, it, to me it's it's more interactive. Um, I actually enjoy doing lives because when people tune in and, and comment and and mm-hmm. and stuff like that, I actually enjoy that, and the guests enjoy it. So I have a great time when when I have a great time doing live now. Okay, I gotta I gotta try them. I gotta try them. If you if you say that it, it's it's because for me this is as good live because I don't edit these. This is just gonna go up as is. You might as well just, just go live. Mm, I guess you're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to say you need to go live. No, but, I know. Uh, but- Eventually, maybe down in the future, you might want to go live. Who knows? No, there's no rush. It took me it took me some time to go live. Okay. Took I'll, me. I'll it, definitely... I've only been doing it for a year, going live. Like I've only been going live. Prior to that, it was pre-recorded, and then before that, it was just strictly audio. So. Okay. I think I'll I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try once I get my 
you know, my pod decks and my, my, <laughs> my foot in the door. Like, <laughs> yeah, like these, the most I edit is intro, outro. That's it. Like, so you got an intro and outro? I, I may. So I, I'm a creative myself. I, uh, I do, uh, I, I created my intro and outro on GarageBand. I played around with some, with some stuff there. And then I did uh, my picture. I modeled with my cat for a while. I had uh, my my partner <laughs> take a few pictures of me and and, and my cat because, like I mentioned earlier, like he he's just meowing all the time. So at some point, it's gonna get picked up. Um, so I just I didn't want to edit those. So so what kind of mic do you have? Uh, Dreamland. I don't know. I have this mic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that like. I don't know. I don't know either. I just got it off of Amazon. Is, is, okay, is it is it a dynamic mic or is it a condenser mic? I think it's a condenser mic. Okay, so for future reference, right? Okay. Um, when you got a space like that, like mm-hmm. when you're not in a a quiet, real quiet place, and you got and it picks up all the sounds, mm-hmm. go with a dynamic mic. Dynamic um, mic. Okay. Because to be on a dynamic mic, you have to really be on it. To, like how I am right now, you have to. And that's something I learned. Like people will be like, oh man, my mic picks up everything. Mm-hmm. My mic doesn't. Like, like my mic, there could be cars passing by or my wife could be over there talking and it won't pick it up because you have to be on the mic. The, actually, the closer you are to the mic, the much better you sound. Yeah, I can hear as you're getting closer. Like I can hear the, the audio change. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, so that's good to know. I yeah, I was just when I when I decided to buy the mic, I was like, I just need to start. Stop making excuses. Oh no, no, it's a start. That's what it's that's what start. it takes. Is a start. You got to start somewhere. I'm not telling you you need to go out and be like me. Like <laughs> the reason, like so, I, when I started, I was furloughed from work, so we was getting extra money. Mm-hmm. Like we was getting un, unemployment, or whatever. Plus. The extra stipe, whatever they were giving us, mm-hmm. and so instead of going, oh, oh. I don't know why this is doing this. My back, no, hold on, no. <laughs> there we go. All right, all right. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, when I started, I didn't, I didn't like didn't invest in myself much i had to but then when i really got serious and i was furloughed and i was like all right let me invest in a mixer let me invest in a camera let me inv-. and i started taking the money and investing in, in, in better equipment um because my thing was all right if i'm, I'm gonna be serious about this mm-hmm. and people are going to take their time to listen to me then i need to give them the best of me i need to make sure my my audio is on point i need to make sure my video is on point I need to make sure because this is something that's very precious. They're giving me time. That makes sense. That Screw makes money. Sense. They're giving me something that they will never get back. You're right. Time. You're right. You're right. So if they give me that, then I need to make sure I am giving them the best quality of me possible. You're right. I got to do more research then on, on, on my setup so that I can. You're improve. doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, but still, you're right. Like, see that that condenser versus the dynamic. You didn't know. know. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know either. (laughs) (laughs) These are things you learn along the way. Exactly, but like now that I know, like now I cannot. So there's a there's a undicho Uh que que my like I grew up with in my family always saying que it's like when you don't know, you're being ignorant, right? But once you know, you're disobeying. Cuando, cuando no sabes, eh, es ignorancia, right? Like, mm-hmm. you're, it's it's okay because you didn't know. But now that you know and you're not you doing it. You shouldn't be ignorant no more. Yeah. You sh- you're not ignorant anymore. Now you're oh. just deliberately doing. Now you're being lazy. Yeah, now you're, being, you're being lazy and you're deliberately doing whatever it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. So yeah. now that you've informed me, now I cannot not go back and like be like, all right, let's well, figure okay. this out. So if Rode, Rode has a, a wonderful dynamic mic, 99 bucks. Okay. And it's it's amazing quality. Amazing quality. Like 
for ninety nine dollars, it sounds really, really good. Like that's the that's the mic I got my nephew, mm-hmm. and it's he loves it. I, I'm like a little bit jealous, even though my mic <laughs> is a nice mic. I have a really good mic, and and but but it, his mic goes with my mixer very well because my mixers are Rodecaster Pro, mm-hmm. and so but I have uh, audio, and, but I love my mic. It's like, I love the sound of my mic. Mm-hmm. And people were like, oh, wait. And I had no clue. I, I, it's like, I, I had to do the research. I had to learn the difference between a dynamic mic and a condenser mic. Because knowing that I'm, I'm in some place that a lot of noise or whatever, I'm like, okay, let me, I don't want to get the mic that it's going to pick up everything. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. What what do you use the mixer for? That's what I like. I I don't get what. So I can understand a mixer when you have like instruments, right? So like one of like one of my cousins. She well, it's it's color. not really a mixer. It's it's made for podcasting. It's it's really made for podcasting. Okay. It, well, it is. It it, it, it is. Up. It, it it's um. Like right now, like here, I can connect four mics mm-hmm. right i could connect my computer or laptop mm-hmm. i could connect my phone through the jack but a lot of phones don't have jacks anymore but mm-hmm. and i connect my phone through bluetooth so technically i can have up to six guests on oh. on my mixer because oh, i can have hey. three that makes all the sense now yeah i can have up to Myself and three other guests, I can have three other guests here recording with me on mics. Then I can have somebody on screen mm-hmm. through my through my laptop or whatever. I can have someone through my phone jacked in, and I can have them on through Bluetooth. So I can have up to at least seven people total on the mixer. That's really cool. So you're blowing my mind. You're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Oh man, um, dude, you're in Pennsylvania. I don't know what the time is over there. It's the same time as you. It's eight o'clock. Get, oh, get out of here. Oh, okay, cool. We're uh, East Coast. Okay, because I don't know. I after you don't know time zones. <laughs> I don't know time zones. I don't pretend to know things, man. <laughs> I don't pretend to. Know. I gotta Google things sometimes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this has been an amazing episode um if it's cool with you i'm gonna wrap it up uh just because i'm exhausted <laughs> this is your show I, I, like if you want to wrap it up it's your show <laughs> all right cool you you're right you're right i gotta take more owner i, I think that's something that i also do it's like i i give the i have to get better at, at hosting and saying like this is what we're gonna do be more and, and, and i feel you i feel you i feel you. that's why i had to build some structure like i'm I, like now my shows are like 35 45 minutes like i i got a clock in front of me i'm like all right start to start winding now let me ask my last couple of questions and then hey this is just time for the plug away this is just this you get the solo screen get to shout okay. everybody out or do whatever plug your whatever programs whatever mm-hmm. so yeah so yeah you need that's one thing you learn is how to control your show okay I got to work on that. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up and then I go ahead and plug in everything again. And then obviously send me all the stuff so I can add it in the show notes and people can go check out your awesome podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Check out my podcast, Stuck in My Mind podcast on all major platforms. Check out my Stuck in My Mind podcast YouTube channel. Check out Real Wise TV on YouTube. Um, you can check out my show Mentality on on Real Wise TV. Um, you can check out Wise in the AM every Thursday and Friday, 7 a.m. on Real Wise TV. T- today was my premiere episode. <laughs> Tomorrow I have uh, episode number two live. I'm excited. I haven't decided what I'm going to talk about just yet, but. Uh, and um, <laughs> check out my website, uh, www.realwiseproductions.com. There you can check out what we do and yeah thanks for having me i had i have had a great time me too thank you so much for joining in again thank you for all the wisdom and and all the time 
um that you're you're giving us and all the support that, that you give to all the the podcasters i appreciate you listen anytime man anytime anytime <laughs> you're ready to well i'm kind of booked through january right now <laughs> No, it's seriously. I am booked through like January right now, but uh, we might have to do a pre-recorded show and uh, have, and I might have to release that. But yeah, we might have to do something pre-recorded. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Um, all right. Well, thank you everybody for joining in. Um, stay creative.